in a translucent composite, you are forced to deal with the third dimension. You can not only look at these portraits right to left and up and down, you're forced to concentrate in and out. It forces you into a dimension that a viewer is not used to. In 2006, Robert Weingarten began a photographic series that explored questions about portraiture and biography. The Portrait Unbound, as a starting point, is asking the subject how they see themselves. It's asking the subject to define what's important to them. The portrait has always been characterized as place-specific, time-specific, subject-specific. The visage of the subject at a particular place, at a particular time, in an instant. That's a portrait. That's a portrait as we know it from Daguerre till now. I wanted to know if we could transcend time, place, and subject in a portrait so that it was more biographical, more metaphorical, and not the visage of the subject. What I decided to do is go to an iconic figure in our society and say to them, if you could do your self-portrait, what would be the list of things that metaphorically would represent you? After answering the question, what makes you who you are, Weingarten's subjects wrote a list of places, landscapes, ideas, achievements, and physical objects that represented experiences and significant moments in their lives. Weingarten then photographed the contents of the lists. I don't start to compose even if I have 80% of the shots done. Uh, I wait until I've taken all the shots so I have everything that I need at hand. Back in his studio, Weingarten brings all of the photographic elements together to create a composite photograph. Humans are complex, and so are Weingarten's constructions. The concept of translucency is very important. It's the concept of seeing through layers of a metaphorical portrait, one, and visually very important because I'm creating this third dimension of depth that you have to deal with in these photographs. This is obviously a portrait of Dennis Hopper. The color, the way, I like the way that shape. And all of that to me constitutes a new visual language and a new language for for portraiture, and that's what I was after in the Portrait Unbound project.